Hi campers, this is Darren with My RV Works. Today we're out on the Coyle Peninsula, which is uh, in, the, in the suburbs of the booming metropolis of Quilcene. Um, and today we're working on an Atwood furnace. It's an 8500 series. This one's an 85253. Uh, and um, so where we're at so far, basically the furnace is not working, it's blowing fuses. So we're going to go on a discovery and find out um, uh, what we're going to what it's going to be required to get this furnace up and running. So if you've watched my other videos, you know I like to follow a trail of 12 volts. So we're going to follow the trail of 12 volts. So what I've got right now is we've got the, the frame of the whole furnace is, is your negative. It's your ground. And then we're going to come in through this red wire here. Uh, there's going to be four wires feeding this furnace. The red positive, the black negative and then there's going to be two additional wires that are going to be control wires they are going to go into the um, into the coach they're going to go through your thermostat it's going to kind of go through a an and circuit so i need to go through my thermostat my thermostat needs to call for heat and my sail switch which is inside of this casing here my sail switch needs to be made and i have a high limit thermostat on the back of this furnace that also needs to be uh, need, uh, not tripped so thermostat calling for heat and sail switch made and high limit thermostat not tripped will allow the current to flow into the control board and after I believe about 15 seconds we will um, try to create combustion over here in the gas chamber so um, following the 12 volt trail those are the stops we're going to take along our journey okay so what we have right now is I'm in the main red uh, supply line feeding from the fuse to my circuit breaker and you'll see here I do have 12 volts so we're going to make it through the other side of the uh, circuit breaker so now we know my circuit breaker is good and it leaves here and it come oops it so we checked here this comes from the coach this goes through the circuit breaker and we have 12 volts here so we've made it past we've made it past our fuse we've made it past our circuit breaker now when we were following our red wires what we have hiding back here is this blue wire is sharing a terminal with this the red main wire. So this red main wire here is coming directly from our fuse panel, directly from our coach. And if you see here, let me see if I can pull this off. Okay, they're sharing a terminal there where now this blue wire, remember we were talking about four wires feeding this furnace. Uh, a red one, which is plus, a black one, which is negative, and then two blue wires leave the furnace. This blue wire is the blue wire that's going to begin this AND circuit. Um, thermostat and sail switch and high limit thermostat. So here's where they pick up the 12 volts. It's going to leave here, go straight into the coach, um, depending on the air conditioner manufacturer. If it's a Coleman, then this blue wire is going to feed our thermostat. If it's Dometic, then we're going to go straight up to the air conditioner up in the ceiling. Um, but what we do expect is this blue wire is feeding the thermostat and then we're going to come back on another blue wire uh, probably this one back here we're going to verify and then when the thermostat gets um, calls for for heat then we expect the 12 volts to come back to us on this blue wire here and if we just follow the blue wire it's going to come back on this is the blue wire here and and then right in here is where the sail switch is located so we're going to tap off of the blue wire and you see I've got my meter in there and here's our 12 volts so we've already made our first stop so we've picked up our 12 we've gone into the coach we've gone through our thermostat and now we're back on this blue wire and what we're going to do is we know yellow is ground so this is a time delay relay and so what we're going to energize is the uh, control side of the relay uh, let me get some wires out of the way now what we know about relays is We've got four pins here, okay? So this pin is going to be one side of my control coil. This pin is the ground. And when this gets made, then these two wires, the one that's in the back back there and this one, after uh, an interval of time, they're gonna be, they're gonna make, okay? So we might look at a relay as the control side and the power side, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do a little, what's called a bench test first. I'm gonna give it my own known good 12 volt source to this here and I'm going to be listening for a a click or I might even put my meter on these two pins here to see the the behavior of this relay um, this guy here is acting suspicious but what I do want to do is eliminate the motor in here as a possibility so if you look here this is your motor you have a red and a black coming out of the motor black would have been bonded to ground which is up here and red would have been one of the leads on this relay so I've pulled them all loose and I'm um, going to test the motor 
So this right here is 12 volts hot. And uh, I'm gonna just, there we go. So you see it touching. So now we have a motor working. So what we've done is we've eliminated in our troubleshooting, we've eliminated the motor as being uh, defective, okay? So we know the motor's good. And so we're, we're still looking at this um, time delay relay right here. I have a brand new one right here. Now what we've done is we've connected the, the new relay in place of the old relay and now the fan started to work right away. Um, we're going to get a bit of a delay and then we expect the, the furnace to fire off. Okay, so we got it running. At the end of the day it turned out to be this time delay relay here. And um, so what we've done is we've got the, the new one there. This is the old one. And we remember we were changing tests, but uh, yeah, it's running now. It feels really good. So um, I hope this helps and happy campers say my RV works.